I am so astonishingly sick of this crap. <clears throat> I'm looking here at the Health and Human Services Department for the United States, the Protect Public Data Hub. It's got inpatient and ICU bed utilization by state. Now why am I looking at this? I'm looking at this because I've been looking at all these uh, ridiculous COVID-19 headlines, right? These COVID headlines talking about how uh, five, five states in particular are, have only 10% of their ICU bed capacity left because COVID's overwhelming the emergency rooms and ICUs. And uh, the places that are saying this, first of all, they are obviously cherry picking the data very, very hard to get this nonsense. But it gets worse than that, okay? They're not just cherry picking the data. Like, oh, five states are almost overwhelmed? That's all fine and great. Here's the thing. Um, what they're not telling you is the truth. The overall picture, okay? Let me show you the data. Let me show you the data. You know, linked by these articles, no less. Here, let me show, let me show you. Here, see this? See this? It's probably too bright. So I'm going to help you out just a little bit by winding that back. All right? You see this nonsense? Look. Come on, baby. Get darker. There you go. So this, this is a map. And these are numbers. Inpatient bed utilization by state. Now, inpatient bed utilization by state. 766 to 81 inpatient beds. That many in use. That many in use for COVID-19. So we can see that about one in every seven and a half or two in every 15 beds in hospitals are being used for COVID-19. So the inpatient beds aren't getting overwhelmed, right? Um, in, in fact, it looks like the inpatient beds have a bigger uh, usage overall than, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. let's see what we got here. Okay, ICU, 85,454 staffed ICU beds, okay? 68,611 of them in use. Well, what does that mean? That means that something to the tune of about uh, 15, 16,000 ish of them, 16, maybe 17,000, 16 to 17,000 ICU beds are not in use. And then, look at this number. What's this? That's how many have COVID 19 patients. So 25,000 out of 85,000 are COVID 19, but that's 25,000 out of the 68, too. So that means that, uh, what is the proportion here? 25, 68. That means that COVID-19 is something to the tune of a third. Yeah, look, the numbers are right there. I don't even know why I'm trying to do the math. But, but, okay, remember, remember that dumb statement? Oh, you can't see me, it's dark. Remember that dumb statement about how, oh, five states in particular are almost completely ruined. Well, look at this map. You, you see this map? See this map and see how everything is like brown and orange? Well, the orange is 60 to 69 percent, and the brown is 70 percent or more. Pretty much the entire United States is at 70 percent or more. And the only ones that aren't are states that are pretty empty, and there are a couple of them up here in the Northeast, which I imagine the only reason that their ICU beds are not overwhelmed is because they have a metric ton more of them available. Uh, that in New Jersey's weird because there's like everybody's up in the top corner So there's probably a lot more beds in the bottom that there's nobody around to use But yeah, look at this like you only have a small number like New Jersey's actually like empty There's like nobody there and uh, what's this? Oh, there's like nothing there, but yeah, no the point is there's like most of the United States has ICUs that are pretty full but it doesn't necessarily look like it's COVID-19 that's done it. Where's the evidence that COVID-19 did it? Uh, can you even see me? I have no idea. But you, when you click through, when you look at the evidence, you look at what these people, they point to these articles, but then you actually go digging and you find out where they got that information, and this is what you run into. And yeah, I, uh, I, I really probably should fix the camera up before you can see me. But... This is their argument. They post a link to CNN. They post a link to, uh, this guy's posted one to me, to WGAL, that links to this website where the data comes from. I don't see where COVID-19 is completely destroying the ICUs. I don't see where they're almost overwhelmed. If you have 
that proportion is what, uh, 16,000 beds out of 85 that aren't even in use. That's pretty far from overwhelmed. That's, that's not even remotely overwhelmed or nearly overwhelmed. Uh, but if you cherry pick the data, you go find the states that have the worst ratios, well, then it becomes a lot easier to make the claim that, oh, look at this disaster. Everybody pay attention to disaster, then wait for next disaster. Let, and you know what? If you're not worried now, if you don't have a problem now, give us a little bit of time, because if you give us a little bit of time, guess what we can do for you? If you wait just a little longer, the numbers will change a bit. We can cherry pick something different, point at that and scare the crap out of you. Ignore the other 45 states. They don't matter. Let's just point to these five states and go, oh, these five states look like they have worse numbers. Now notice, too, the terminology. They're not saying, focus on me, come on camera, be nice. They're not saying that they are overwhelmed. They're saying that they are almost overwhelmed. So is that, I mean, almost overwhelmed is like the, like the kind of pregnant, you know? <laughs> That's, that's the way I feel when I read this crap. It's like, it's almost overwhelmed. It's like, that's like a near miss, or a near hit, as George Carlin would call it. It's like, it, almost overwhelmed is the almost pregnant, or the nearly pregnant, or the sort of pregnant of medical reporting crap. I don't know, man. This is just so silly. Check your sources before you link them. Actually, like, you know, read or something. I, I mean, it's not like you weren't already there, you know, in your desperate attempt to own the righties, or I'm not even a righty, so just own the people that disagree with you, you know. Read your damn sources before you send them on to me and look like a moron. That's all. Like, comment, subscribe. Look down at the bottom for links to support me financially because I love getting your money. Of course, if you don't want to give me money, that's fine too. I don't care. You know, I'll find a way to pay for it and do some kind of dirty work in an alley, I suppose. And uh, check out my other channels, Jody Spicy Takes, where political videos like this will end up being exclusively once I have enough subscribers. And Jody Bruchon's stock footage and VHS archives, which is stuff I ripped from old VHS tapes and eventually stock footage of mine that I decide to share for free with the community. Have a good one.